Well, I've been pretty busy, but uh, I'm running out of excuses. I've got to finish these knives. I'd really like to have them done here in uh, just a couple of hours so that I can take them with me tomorrow and have them fitted for some sheaths. Uh, I'd really like to give these away here this uh, Thanksgiving weekend. So this is my uh, Bushcrafter and uh, just a small utility knife here, roughly cut. Uh, this one is in uh, palm, palm wood. This is lignum vitae. So I'm going to uh, get them shaped up. Probably won't do much on the blades today, but I really need to get the uh, handle shaped so they'll fit into the, uh, the sheaths. Change my change my jacket here so I don't get my new my new jacket dirty. Look at that. Nice heavy thermally lined dickies with a great great logo on it. Put on my old cruddy green cotton Eddie Bauer button up. I like it because it's flame retardant. This is my highly sophisticated dust collection system. Very, very expensive as you can see. An old beat up box fan and uh, just a leftover Home Depot brand cheap as can be floss filter. It works. Look at all that. Better than nothing. I really want a nice high-end dust collection system, but uh, that ain't happening right yet. So the epoxy and the aluminum really gunk this thing up. Uh, this has been used a couple of different times, but here's what I'm fighting against here is this buildup. And the, uh, the rubber stick just is not cleaning that off anymore. Uh, this happens. I go through these, unfortunately, pretty quickly. Uh, but, man, it really cuts, cuts the time needed way, way down. Um, it takes me a lot less time to do these. These sheets of uh, sandpaper, however, are uh, the 12 inch diameter and they cost about 12 bucks each. Uh, so that's the unfortunate part.
left side. start to take shape. Uh, down below my sander here I've got the bucket. And the bucket holds the bucket holds all the old leftovers from uh, cutting blades. Ones that just aren't quite sharp enough anymore. So I use these. I'm gonna start out with 36. Uh, give it thin it out just a little more, get that body, the hourglass shape going. And then after that, start to break it down, smooth it out, and then I uh, usually finish them off by hand. So even though these edges aren't sharp, they're still pretty dangerous. If the uh, sandpaper were to give right at the, uh, the seam, right where it connects, which I've had happen before, it comes whipping off of there right quick. Uh, and it'll just knock the knife right out of your hand if you're, if you're not grabbing it super sturdy. And since I will be holding the blade for most of this next portion, turning them, I don't want to have that in my hand and have it rip through. Um, they've still got a, a fair, fair edge on them. Sharper than most people's knives are right now, I would imagine. So what I use, spike tube. I use a lot of old bike parts for stuff. It just works well. And I got a lot of them kicking around. In case some of you didn't know, the name Klein Freak comes from a bike company, Klein Bikes, which is what I used to race back in the 90s. Uh, mountain bikes. Wrap these up, slap them with a little duct tape. There we go. Just like the sheaths used in the uh, chef's knife videos.
pretty plain looking right now. That's gonna change. See if you notice the way that this paper doesn't flex. Very stiff. for my favorite stuff. I love this paper. Here's that flex I was talking about. See how it curls right in there? It's just amazing stuff. white buffing compound. sanding, just buffing compound. So the finished, finished product, black palm. Uh, I thinned this handle out quite a bit more after purchasing the sheath. Fairly limited is what I could pick up, so I get this small, uh, it's called the Woodland. And uh, it's a tight fit, but uh, works really nicely. It's very compact. Uh, it's gonna be a good, uh, good little, uh, I would say everyday carry size. I love these style of sheets. I'm about to treat these with open offs. And what I'll do is I will uh, oil this leather up and uh, put the knife in there, let it set so it stretches just a little bit. Uh, this will have a leather lanyard stuffed in there, so it should be nice and easy coming in and out uh, with just a little, little grip of that uh, pinky finger around the, the lanyard. Shouldn't be bad at all. The Lignum Bushcrafter uh, turned out really, really nice. Those black liners really Really look good. I kind of wish that I had done green, maybe a forest green or a uh, you know a dark, uh, maybe an OD green. Uh, I think it really looks good with that orangish brown lignum wood. I think it'll be terrific. And this is the South Pacific sheath. Uh, that'll be a really really nice one. This one could even sit almost all the way down so that this uh, handle is completely protected. That's what this little flap is for. You're supposed to set this knife all the way down in there 
and that helps if you're walking through uh, brush or sticks. That way if you rub it against there, you don't scratch up your handle. Uh, won't really be a problem with this lignum though. Uh, that's, uh, that's really, really tough wood. I am really impressed. And they're all sharpened up. Uh, if I could... Drop to, oh boy. There we go. Let's drop to about, uh, uh, what did I do? Black compound. Black compound is 1600, I think. I don't remember. This one has a little, little catch right there. All right inside. Let's see if you can pick that up. Right there is the nick. And that's a hard spot to get to, but I'll manage that. This one's gonna be amazing. Although both of these blades are not made for paper cutting. They're made for whittling. Bush Crafter really cuts some nice pieces off of there. A little utility as well. You can get some really big chunks off of it. You can also get some tiny little curls. Teeny tiny little curls. And that's important. Because if you're making feather sticks or something like that, you got to do some little detail work important that you can get those and all the way down to the tip. Yeah. I have to practice that. I'm not very good. Not bad though. That's it everyone, thanks for watching, see you soon.